He suffered a knee injury. The knee looking like it was going the wrong direction. He came back after two games. Love. There's Baker off the screen. Got a look at three. Rebound Freeman. The tip ahead to Mamadou Dukor. Love. There's Baker off the screen. Got a look at three. Rebound Freeman. The tip ahead to Mamadou Dukor. Oh, to go. Rutgers clicking offensively. Watch Freeman. One motion, offensive rebound pass, an easy dunk. Omarui will put it on the deck, driving against Fitzgerald. The leaner off the glass, not going to go. Still getting work for the rebound. Finds Williams for three. Huge body. And when you're 275 plus and you've got bad wheel or bad foot, it really affects you. Seth. Nice pass inside, but taken away. Ball lost by Ducor. Ducor battling in amongst the trees. Can't get it, but there's Omarui springing up. It's lopsided, 8-2 to two in favor of Rutgers. He even stood up in that huddle and was showing them the fundamentals of how to box out. Four. And it was a nice change because what you notice typically is Rutgers is going to slow down, go get into their offense. That time, Corey Sanders had a blow-by attempt, and he took it. K to base D out, Juwan Morgan. Should have been in the MVP conversation. Omaruyi off the ball fake. High off the window, got it to go. He's into it. And I mean, you know, there's a lot of different ways to be effective as a coach. A little fake and a blocking foul. Count the bucket and one more. Washington coming back home would have a spirited effort. Jelly Pham at the rim, taking the contact, going off glass. He's going to be a fun player to watch the rest of his career. The Jelly Fam, he's got over 300,000 Instagram followers. The twisting, spinning layup that he calls a jelly. Two-point lead for Rutgers. Mason on the attack against Sanders. Floats in the air and ties it at 22. Right back to Omaruyi, 10 on the shot clock. Sanders got to go. Fade away over Murphy, rolls home. He's starting to feel it. He's got 11. Ball tipped away. Eight to shoot for Mason, under two minutes to go. Step back three for Nate. Mason is good. At the top of the show, Corey Sanders first. Corey Sanders, you see the elevation on his shot. Not many people are going to bother that. And then he's like, yeah, I'm starting to feel it. And then Mason's like, you know what? I got something for you here. Take this with you. Step back three. A lot of confidence. Seven to shoot. Sanders. Rockette style kicking with a dribble. Fires it up and hits. Getting a ripple to that. This is very comfortable right now. Yes, he is. A little swagger as Washington working inside. Washington over Sanders. Ooh. He got that one to fall. And Sanders will dribble it out as halftime arrives at the Garden. Dorson looks for a little help. Gets it from Sanders. Nice bounce to Dorson with the hammer. Shaq Dorson said, I like scoring. Give me another one. Grayer going past Dorson, dumps it down low to Konate, who finishes strong this evening. It's another capable scorer, but hasn't gotten on track. Turnover, McBrayer, long pass ahead, Murphy and Sanders decided he needed to let him go, and it's a five-point game. Look at the pre McBrayer battling, comes up with the steal, the pirouette pass, and Jordan Murphy is the recipient. Needs some help against Murphy. Back out it goes. Geo Baker will pull the trigger. And he rattles it home. Maybe a little confidence for the freshman. Yeah. Mason attacking against Candido. Saw no Murphy with the offensive rebound to the finish. Take a look at Jordan Murphy and why he's so good. He's all the way at the top of the key, but then comes in and is able to get that offensive rebound and put back pursuit of the basketball and desire to beat people to the rim. Would look very different than what Michael Hurt looks like. I don't know if I eat 7,500 <laughs> calories in a week. Sanders with his first points of the second half. And stops and starts on the offensive end for both teams here in the second half. And nice work by Isaiah Washington. Three points all at the line. Sanders pulls the trigger on a tough two. He wanted the foul, didn't get it. And the rebound pushed by McBrayer. McBrayer goes right past Sanders with a left-hand hammer. We got one from Harlem. Queens Bridge is in the house. The Cree McBrayer bringing it home in the garden.
Washington against Sanders now back out to Nate Mason. Just nine points for Mason. He'll pull the trigger on the three and he'll hit. What a time for Nate Mason to get his first second half bucket. Down by McBrayer. McBrayer pushing. McBrayer, the dish underneath. Murphy with the two-hand slam. Sanders. Ten on the shot clock for Corey Sanders. Just two second half points until that three. Crunch time, Madison Square Garden, three minutes to go. One season will end in three minutes, perhaps. It's on the way to the rim. He'll go to the line for one more. It's it back. Where will they go here? Sanders with eight to shoot. One on one against Mason. Sanders, the crossover from the foul line. Fade away falls. Couldn't get going. Washington. In an eight-point game, Washington splits to the rim and a timeout. And Rutgers, for the second straight year, is going to knock off a higher-seeded opponent in the first round of the Big Ten Tournament. Last year, Ohio State. This year, Minnesota, as the 14 seed provides the first upset at Madison Square Garden. 65-54, Rutgers advancing in the Big Ten Tournament. Great effort by the Scarlet Knights. They didn't have the offense clicking necessarily, but boy, did they play hard and got some great contributions.